Well, the minutes of February 13. I just have one quick question. Uh, Mary, were you able to, it came up at the last, mm -hmm. move that money that was earmarked on the park and rec? Did you get the memo on that? No, I didn't see a memo on that. It's in the was minutes. It, it it's in the minutes. It's, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it is in the minutes. So. Oh. Um, so it's one of the seventy five is act that should have been vehicle maintenance instead of parking deck. Oh, parking okay. with that. Okay. <coughs> Good one. <laughs> I also want to seek some clarification from the board regarding what we did with the water board when we voted to um, I think this states clearly what we what we agreed, but that um, I thought it just we agreed to let them proceed with the investigating the bond. Yeah. And that was about it. Right? Yeah. I didn't, want, basically I didn't to want to be given any with further. The process until they had more solid. Knowledge. Posting of such documents will be completed as required, and approval of documents as submitted will be required. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I think it was just. A, yeah, I think it was just a, an approval to proceed. Because I'm just starting to wonder how they can fit all this into the timeline without. And then I just will talk an executive about contract, but I, the engineer contacted me today about more things apparently that I that we need to do in order to help them. Is that okay? No. Yes. No, it's good. I just want to make sure we were all kind of on the mm -hmm. same page. So I'll make a motion to approve the February thirteenth minutes. I second it. Other discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Oh, yeah, you were sick. I mm -hmm. was. Um, the warrant. <clears throat> Where do you want to start? <laughs> what, do we have three? Yes. Yeah, we have a special. Oh, yes. Start with the, with the regular. The regular. <clears throat> Um, I had a question about the, um, so 1500 for the express copy was for the reports and I just wanted to make sure that we weren't charged extra for the insert? No, we were not. Okay, and obviously there was additional time spent on that, but I think we're, we, we're not asking for any discount or anything like that. No, I okay. needed it brought it right to my house. Yeah, I, okay. Like immediately. Yep. So. Um, and how are we going to do that? We're just going to hand that out of the door as people come in? They're already oh, most they're of them have been delivered. Oh, they haven't? Okay. Awesome. Some of them twice. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on that? Uh, a question on the... Um, so when we do expenses for... Um, I don't, I'm not really sure even what to call them. Spot guys, like for for somebody that's required as a flagger or a, or a, a plow for a day or something like that. Um, usually we list it as like the individual's name, and I wasn't sure if that was. Is there some sort of rule on how or accounting sort of method that's used typically? It just seems like that could that's more like a. An expense of, you know. Well, we put that under the payroll warrant. But the, the, the gentleman that helped Norm on occasion, he keeps their, their um, hours per month. He turns them in at the end of the month and they're paid once a month. I'm not oh, aware I of anybody that we've paid outside of payroll. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. For then. those type of services happening. So is the. Um, outside of. Yeah, outside of the payroll. Are there any flaggers? But that's all. But they're all. Yeah, yeah, we always have that. Right. But there's nobody that we pay. I think there is. Well, you know what I'm thinking. You might be thinking of John uh, Louis uh, Louis. Louis. Oh, yeah, yeah. But but Lily so, Brown is on, is on the regular payroll warrant, and you'll know that when you get to the payroll warrant, you'll see two gentlemen there 
and the description says February hours. Perfect. And that was what. Great. Is that the right one? What the right amount? What about the, uh, um, the second is this, one? Yes, that is correct. Okay. So what about NBV 4733? That, that is North Bennington Grade School District, and that was the door. No, 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 no. That's North Bennington Variety Store. Oh, okay. NBV. Yeah. I'm sorry. And that's apparently uh, supplies for when they're plowing. I think it was sandwiches and okay. things for the help who aren't being paid. All right, because it just said on the um, detail big A, and I just yeah. was confused. Right, and that is a that's, gentleman. That's Norm's friend who gives, yeah. who helps us immensely, yeah. and is not, uh, is not taking pay. For and that, gotcha. that seventy-five dollars actually went was accumulation. It looked like of various cups of coffee and sandwiches yeah. for for a few months. Totally understandable. Yeah. I mean, and that's I I I I. I at first, I thought MBV was North Bank Bright, but then I looked at the detail and it said Big A, so I just didn't. I wasn't sure what that was. Anything else? Uh, and the uniform service is once a week. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, and that's obviously uh, necessary. So some of the um, some of it is uniforms, John. Um, some of it's the mats. Oh, like gotcha. The drugs, like in here. Great. Yeah. That they haven't been here for a while, I guess, but thank you very much. It's helpful. There's not any other questions. Entertain the motion. I'll make a motion to approve the warrant for March 13, 2018, in the amount of thirty-one thousand six hundred one dollars and sixty-five cents. I'll second that. Do I have a backup? Do I have a backup? There was two, there were two copies sent out. There was a second copy. There was one addition to it. Got it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now I've got to find um, Next is citizen comments. We Payroll. Oh, we got the other warrants. Thank you. Yeah. Payroll warrant and the special warrant. Anything about that? I'll make a motion to approve the payroll for seven thousand seven twenty-one fifty-six. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then the back code one, right? And this is the special warrant for the check that. What this we put was the check for the down payment on the, the back home. Uh, I'd make a motion to approve the special warrant at fifty-seven thousand three hundred dollars. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Citizen comments. There are none. Okay. I gotta find my page again. Treasurer's report. See, I sent uh, around earlier um, the standing of where we are with all the cash accounts and yep. a couple of things that will be funded or defunded or used funds for um, by the end of the year so you can see where where we will be at the end of the fiscal year, which is actually coming up pretty soon before you know it. Um, so we're there. Uh, another thing is we did get um, $1,209 from the state for one of the invoices for that roof project yep. that we had to pay a month or two ago. Um, and so the other one that's in, in this warrant today, I expect we'll see our percentage of that coming back um, quite soon. Um, and I think we're just waiting to have a couple of little pieces of little cleanup things done 
for the state for the uh, BACO grant, and we should be seeing our funds coming from that quite quickly. Great. Um, the collection of delinquent taxes are going quite well, and uh, just continue to pick them off bits at a time. Um, as a response to several questions um, and requests last year, um, Lori included in the village report this year a list of when we'll actually be here in the depot to collect taxes and when that due date will be. We will be following Bennington's tax due date, not Shaftesbury's. Um, Shaftesbury's taxes, I am told, are actually going to be due different than uh, the, this. They're going to be due a few days sooner. But Bennington is giving everyone the weekend um, okay. for allowance, so we will follow that. And so hopefully that will be helpful to our residents. Great. Uh, any other questions for Mary? Um, then the next item is the highway facilities report. Norm is not here tonight. Um, he's been a little busy and fears that he may have to go back out later tonight. Um, and if not, hopefully he can get some sleep. Um, two sub items on this one is the backhoe grant. What is it that they were looking for the idle policy and the um, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the um, Pledge. financing paperwork to be signed, countersigned by Caterpillar. There was a message left on Norm's machine. I've called them back um, to get that, so I expect we should have that anytime. And that's it. That's what they're looking for. Um, but everything else was uh, was provided. Norm disabled the, the machine, yeah. punched the holes in the engine, had all the pictures of that. The, um, the women from the state actually came on site and, and watched all of that process. Uh, all of that number of addendums that you <laughs> signed uh, yeah. that got to them. So I think we're good to go. No, they're just fill, fill me in. The idle policy is... So there are two different versions. Yep. Them. Do you have them? Yes. Yeah. So we've just got to pick a version that we prefer. It's an idle reduction prefer. policy, it yeah. should be. And, well, and I think, does somebody want to try to summarize them? I had my own summary, but I'd be curious to see if everybody else had the same summary. It's, it sounded like one was advising. So, is yeah. that what you thought? The other my take was, basically was saying we're, this we're, is yeah, we're, we're pledging that as a village, uh, all of all village employees and vehicles will do right. this right. and right. will encourage the community when they're right. at village right. property to also do that, which means signage for that. Mm -hmm. And the right. other version was just a commitment that town employees and vehicles will, will abide by that, not the community. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, it, as I recall, as, as, as part of the um, requirements of this grant, because it is a clean air type of grant, mm -hmm. that with that was the commitment, a stated commitment and, and, and uh, 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 approved policy that there would be idle reduction and thus less emissions generated, obviously including by the equipment that they're providing mm -hmm. the grant for. Yeah. I, I have no problem with the version that kind of encourages the community too. Either way, it's the same signage. Mm -hmm. Is there um, is there like policy A and policy B? So yeah, there are two so yeah. two different policies. So okay. and then I I'm not sure that they we have good. slightly different names too. Okay, okay. one is the village. The one, that you have. one is well, there's and I took them just the, the my the way I read these in very general terms is that the policy that's titled. Um, just village, anti-idle policy village, is that we will post signage to decrease idling within the village among the public se sector. Mm -hmm. And the other, which is called village fleet, requires that the people driving village vehicles do not idle. As a, So one is actually actively changing our practices right. as a village, and the other is promoting people within the village to not idle by putting up signage. I just, does that, I, I thought, which is I, I, I thought, I thought both of them 
had requirements for the village fleet and properties. But it, it didn't sound like, it sounded like one was more. Yeah, I think the second one doesn't require it. Yeah, one doesn't require it. I think one was more sort of encouraging or we're going to do our okay. best to. Yeah, it's, requi it's either a requirement right. for the small right. group within the fleet or it's encouragement of everyone. Right. It's a, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I, I, I prefer the encouragement of everyone. I, uh, because yeah. we could also, as a, even though that we're encouraging the community at large to do that, we could then make it be known that our fleet will <laughs> not idle unless, and there are exceptions in there for cold weather, extremely hot weather, for air conditioning and heat. Uh, what were the other ones if you need to run your equipment to run hydraulics or things like that? So there are instances where if, if you need to have the car idling to do your job, you can do right. it. It's really this section. That's yeah. the difference. Okay, so in this, um, uh, Norm seemed to think that he preferred the advice one, which um, it sounds like we're leaning toward yeah. as well because that's broader. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that either way, I mean, there, there's no significant impact, I think, on what on, on their day-to-day -day business. This is not, in, in either of the policies, there's enough exemptions to allow for um, essentially operating as, as they have. I think there are some changes that could be implemented, but, um, you know, starting the vehicle when it's freezing cold at night and, and you need to get the engines warmed up or um, you know things like that there's exemptions for that if you're in the middle of the you know main street and you're doing it you know patching a hole or something you obviously need to keep the vehicle running for safety reasons but those are all listed exemptions so I don't I don't think there's much of a problem yeah. but he had actually asked me or told me that his preference was the was this one the uh, drivers are advised to turn off vehicles yeah and I think it's actually it is the, so I think it's actually posting laws that are on the books I'm just looking at I think it's 23 of VSA chapter 1110 prohibits idling of motor vehicles in Vermont already yeah think, so you're just posting yeah, that yeah that's right and they provided us with hard signs to do to post right. which is great they look yeah. nice so we could put one on this building I think I don't know how many we have but we can certainly put them other places too we definitely go at the garage here in the garage and the yeah. pledge needs to be put up on the bullet board in the garage too <laughs> yeah I, I I like that one as well there was a question posed as to whether this would apply to whether this needs to apply to the water department as well, but you know, I, it I already know does by law. I mean, the law already is you can't do it. But who's going to enforce all this anyway? Well, it's not a matter. It's I think well, that's why it's an advisory. It's not. Yeah, it wouldn't be as a question of enforcement, but whether we needed to, you know, they do actually like to look occasionally to see if you have their pledges and their stickers to say safety and stuff like that you know and whether we would be required to have one here on the water side in the water treatment i mean i don't know that I, I think we should we should uh, require that yeah well i think the only difference between water treatment is it's not are you talking about yeah it's village it's village property and so i think we're adopting a policy that needs to be followed by yeah. the entire and you said they would get us signage? Did somebody yeah, say they gave us oh, the signs? I think that's great. Yeah. Do you I don't see them having any issue with it. <laughs> no, I think it's great that they're even providing the signage. That's mm -hmm. yeah. fantastic. Do you want to, what do you want to do, show of hands or do a motion or for one? Just make a motion, I think. I would make a motion that we adopt. Um, I want to figure out, it's the anti-idling policy for village property. Yeah. I will second that. Any further discussion? If not, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, seems like there needs to be two signatures. And uh, we also need to sign. Oh, this yeah, I was going to say there's a pledge too, right? Yep. Yeah. Who else wants to sign here? I'll sign. We at the village hereby pledge our commitment to island reduction in support of this pledge. We establish the following guidelines for facilities, our vehicles, and our employees. Excessive idling more than five minutes is prohibited at our facilities. 
including during pickups and deliveries. Drivers of our vehicles will not idle unnecessarily more than five minutes on or off site. All employees are encouraged to limit unnecessary idling in their private vehicles. And I will sign that. Do we, do we need a move to do it? A motion to adopt this pledge? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if we do, but I'm willing to make a motion that we adopt that pledge that you just read. Is there a yeah. second? I will second that. Seconded by Mark. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So are we done with our facilities? Uh, DRB. Oh, uh, oh sorry. Other things. Yep. Uh, so the back the backhoe has actually already been picked up by Nash Equipment, mm -hmm. so that's gone, and we're so that's the old backhoe, so that's good. Um, the I noticed that the Greater Heights expense for removal of the trees was five hundred twenty-five dollars, which struck me as a great deal. So we want to thank them for um, their service with that. I, I know there's on Water least, Street there's at least four or five trees, and for five hundred bucks, I mean that's yeah. got to be a deal. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there was a bid for uh, the upper main sidewalk project, and the the bid, the winning bid, came back significantly under budget. So um, that's obviously good for our percentage. But um, I don't think we. Let's see. I'm not sure at what stage whether that's going to be re. You know presented to the board or, or we're going to get some additional formal information on that. I think that maybe the um, BCRC or the or the person that we've hired to complete the bids, um, you know, maybe they're going to send us a letter saying we've accepted this and put a package together and stuff right. like that. So we do, I think I think that was it is that maybe the 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 winning bidder needs to be um, you know vetted or something like that approved, mm -hmm. which is, it was, um, So who was at that meeting when those bids were open? Uh, I was there. Yeah. Yeah. And Norm, Norm and um, Jim Sullivan from BCRC okay. and Chrissy Haskins, I believe, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. was the one who uh, put everything together yeah. for the bids and everything. Okay. So we should be hearing from them. I would think so. Okay. Yeah. But that's, so that's tentatively really good news. And is that something that we're going to... under. <laughs> is that something we're going to, because of this, pursue alongside the... Oh yeah, so yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely, done. that's a done deal, and, and the contractor said that they can have it done before it, it's going to interfere with the um, Main Street paving, so that's not, that, that, was, that's a, that was a requirement yeah, of the contract, wow. and there was actually five or six, there might have been six bidders, so okay. it was good, we had some good competition. That's great. And I don't know if, you know, it doesn't appear that we'll have the same for the roof project, but if we can get somebody, that would be great. <laughs> okay. okay. Anything else? Um, oh, and just thank you. Uh, it's, it's great to have Max back uh, yeah. Yeah. from the college, and uh, he's been coming Tuesdays and Thursdays to the garage, and that was, um, yeah, it's... I know, I know the guys have appreciated having an extra hand. Uh, he, I think he was the one that cleaned up the depot for the voting with all the flies and bees and everything. Nice. So the vacuum out. And uh, I, um, last week, was did um, several rounds with the uh, gray truck in the, in the plow last storm last week. And... Uh, so that was an interesting experience. You were plowing? I, 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 <laughs> and uh, so the reg, one of the regular guys was out of town, Bobby Garrity. So um, Norm had to improvise. get some other people involved. So. And how many mailboxes did you take out? And you didn't That's do good. I didn't do yeah, which, anything except go? for at, apparently after everything was put to bed and it was all good, Norm informed me that the that there was a that it had a small puncture in the front tire, so oh. that was patched for twenty dollars. So well, that's not your fault. Well, that's not your fault. Thank yeah. you. That's great. Thanks nice. a lot. <laughs>
I opt to I opt to just drive around with the I don't really want to be driving. It's a resume builder. What's that? It's a resume builder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Add that to it. In case law has to work out for you. Yeah. That's right. Got a backup. Um. Thank you for all that. Yeah. And the yeah. organization there. Um. DRB, uh, nothing. We we did um, meet to start the process. This is more planning commission, but the process of um, getting the town plan together. Uh, you showed up and gave us some good ideas about uh, energy policy things, and uh, BCRC is really doing this for us, and we just are giving them some input, and they're putting it back together, and going to come back to us with. Um, a draft of the changes that are required by changes in statute as well as uh, things that we thought might be important to be included. Um, but we'll have ample time to review that as a whole board and, uh, uh, and adopt. Um, yeah. What? I was wondering whether that might be an interest of Aaron's as far well oh. as the, the town plan goes. But. Well, that's good. Because we need, um, in fact, we need what we've discovered in all this shuffling of, of uh, to keep the DRB viable, we, um, we are short uh, at least one member of the Planning Commission and actually uh, another member is likely stepping down, so we probably have three members right now out of the five. What we need is five, so you know, I, I actually got a phone well. call. Is this? I told him I was going to mention it at the meeting, so is this Marty? Yeah. Yeah. He, he called and left a message, and I called him back, and um, I think he's stepping down for both boards, right? And I did tell him I'd, I'd mention it tonight and, uh, and take the opportunity to thank him for the years he's put um, in. And, yeah, I said I said we would allow him <laughs> his his freedom <laughs> to yeah. enjoy his retirement. Hey Aaron, are you you're are you thinking about joining them in their pursuits for the for the plan for the for the town plan? Mm -hmm. This was given to me. That's actually a little bullet point list. You can go online and see the changes. I'm just <laughs> handing it off to you because I'm not going to be doing anything okay. with it. I already read it, so. I didn't get this. Yeah, I don't know. This don't was know. today. Says. No, that was old. Oh, that's older. It was a. Uh, 213.18. Oh, notes. Yeah. That, that was the one they gave me when I showed up. So. Oh, right. This was you right. That. I mean, you can pull yes. it. No, that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, the next, when we get to the next level, I think what we'll do after next month, week's uh, meeting, in the April meeting, we will be seeking candidates for the for those empty positions and then appointing them. I think typically that's when that occurs, is in April. Um, and reappointing those that are up for, for figuring out what the constituency of the boards would be. Uh, water board. Um, so I was notified this afternoon that because this project is going to be going underneath the railroad tracks on Mechanic Street or Overly Road, essentially, that uh, because we are the municipality, we have to uh, request, um, I guess I should go to, a, I, I don't know when I will have time to make these contacts, but, um, New water main is required under the railroad tracks on Houghton. Oh, oh I guess it's over here, actually. Yeah, because the, oh, it's, it's not going, going, it's not going past. I was wondering why, because that's Okay, you're right. That's already that's done. Even. Yeah. It's right here. Uh, to install this water, the village needs a, a construction permit from VTrans Railway Division. The design and specs are pretty standard, but the village has to have an updated master license agreement before a permit can be issued. Um, and Mark Youngstrom, the engineer for the 
waterboard has spoken to the guy at Beat and Trans, uh, and he's aware of the project. Um, he's asking that I reach out and ask uh, regard, regarding getting the updated license completed. I have no idea what, what that entails, and I um, would hope that they would do most of the legwork for that. Um, and he said he believes that he would draft the update but the request needs to come from the village, um, as that is the municipality. So I will. I'll look we at have it. to request. We have to request a master license agreement. I have that. And who, from who? Yeah, updated. It has to be updated, whatever that means, from, from Ludwig Pulaski at V Trans. I don't really want that to be a part of my bucket of things to do, but I will I will look into it and see what's really involved. I think they'll do they'll pretty much do it for us. It sounds to me like it's just a that you are the one that has to either just send him please. the email or yeah. call. But um, I think that this there is an issue here of like I, I think what we've done is said that we are okay as an overseeing board that they proceed with um, the planning stage of this uh, improvement project and that they're going to submit a formal you know uh, proposal to the, to the town you know and because it's such a large project and it's a bond so but the, f the further it goes out I think the less support that I feel for um, having that go to the village, I guess, because it, it just seems like, I mean, we don't, I don't want to receive a set of plans for this project two or three weeks before um, it's set for a bond vote. I don't think that, I think that the village entrusts us to look at these things before they're they vote on it, you know, and, and that we're their representatives and that we need to make sure that we have seen, you know, what is proposed so that people can give it more of an up or down vote. I don't think that generally people have the time to review a, a large set of blueprints and, and think about all the aspects of a project like this, but, and not that we necessarily have that time either, but we've committed to make you know, the time when there's a large project like that. So, um, I, I echo that. I, it is my sense that what we approved, what, you know, I, I don't know what, how they're approaching this. I'm hoping they're not spending extensive amounts of money on the engineering for final draft plans prior to a vote. I would hope that what they're doing is getting a rough sense of what generally needs to be done get a cost estimate and then have a vote on what's not to exceed a certain amount, then then taking the time to do the engineering. If that's not the case, and we are looking at being handed uh, uh, engineering plans without any input from us, I'm, I'm not... I'm not well, it sounds like they're that. doing the, the, okay. the, the first, because didn't they say it's a fairly standard? Well, but, he was, but the proposal was that the project was going to occur this summer. I know. I, so I don't see how you can... And they want to vote on a vote in May. Yeah. Um, right. And that would have to be warned. I mean, yeah. I, so their, their schedule, they did... They have a schedule of dates where they're going to have meetings. So the, and the, meetings. Two, the two meetings were like a week before the vote. And they were like right next to each other. So it wasn't... I, I feel like... And I understand that you can't always do it this way, but it seems like you want to have a meeting to present the project to the public and then at least a few weeks in between a second meeting so that people can come back with other questions and things like that. And then like a month later or a few weeks after that at least, then the vote. Right. You, know, you want time for people to digest it. What, what we need to be looking after are, are the village assets that are going to be affected by the project. You know, the, nobody's disagreeing that we need the right. water changes. No. It's it's the uh, it's the details of what roads are being dug up, um, what impact is that going to have long term, 
should we be advocating for um, greater uh, output on their part with regard to um, uh, making the roads whole rather than patching and you know I mean these are the things I want to know mm -hmm. um, yeah that's a point I'm, on which I'm very curious is are we patching or, are we, or going over the whole thing because if we're just patching then that's going to infinitely increase the amount of work that the highway department is going to put into this going forward yep and you know it's kind of a rub that we have with the water board is that um, you know they get their revenue in a different way than we do so we struggle with with tax funded projects to keep roads in decent shape and we're playing whack-a-mole all over the town just trying to to keep things from deteriorating and the water board just can without voter approval raise its fees and have you know it's not that they, they've, they've done a great job the water is reasonably priced and all that but they're not held to the same accountability and so to just say we're going to have a bond vote um it's different it, you know it's uh that bond is not funded by tax dollars it's funded by use fees um, for this repair though a large part is going to be in, funded by St. Gobain. No. No, none of this. This is all going forward to straight bond then. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is this is all upgrade. separate work. This is the upgrade now. Okay, the, this is the just fix. the upgrade. Yeah. Gotcha. And but these are all so things that I mean we should be committed to going to these meetings and these are the things that Absolutely. we should bring up at them. I mean, because that's ideally that's when we want to bring these things up is when we have the community there that that, that can then feed on. So if we bring up the issue and our concerns then that will spearhead a conversation from other community members and their concerns. It, yeah, we should either attend and we should consider whether or not we meet more, even if somebody on this board shares on that board, just to transfer information. Yeah. Just feels like there's a little bit of compartmentalization. Would so that, that be tomorrow night or is it the following week? It's, it's the following two weeks. Two weeks. The following but Tuesday. it's changed to. Um, the day after the village meeting. Because oh, our, our, village our meeting, meeting is next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. On Tuesday. So the, on Wednesday they're so having an information Wednesday. meeting at the... No, no that's the, the regular, regular water... Board. Oh, the regular water board meeting. Board meeting is here at 7. Okay. On Wednesday. Mm -hmm. The 21st. <clears throat> at what time? It's at 7. Yeah, it probably would be the time to um, raise the questions and concerns we have. Okay. Um. And Steve, just to be, I mean, I don't want to make it seem like we're, we're not having any communication. Steve Goodrich did say that he would send us plans, mm -hmm. but um, it's just that it's getting closer and closer mm -hmm. to the day. That's all. Yeah. And again, I don't want the plans to be a full build out, you know, construction spec quality because I don't think then they they will have addressed the right things, the concerns we have. Uh, yes. Um, I was just looking at my, at my notes here. Um, on Wednesday, the uh, 21st, the, the normal meeting is at 6 o'clock. At 7 o'clock, members of the Design and Review Board and the Village Trustees will be meeting with the Water Board to discuss the upcoming bond vote, et cetera. Mm. So that's, well, that's good enough. already scheduled for okay. 7 o'clock next Wednesday. Okay. Did we know that was coming? In case you didn't know. Yeah, I got you. Is that all? Is, are we all? I, I think any of us that can make it should. It's a, oh, yeah, no, it's I'm happy to go. It's a warm This is the first I've heard of it. 21st? Yeah. Yes, it is. He had set those dates out in that little timeline that we didn't really know what to do. 21st. So their meeting so is at 6? 6 o'clock. And, and then, then our meeting, meeting would be at 7. At 7. Okay. Good. Um, Thank it, you, Mary. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Mary's a great li liaison, actually. She does work for them and for us, and I think it is it, that, that's a good connection we have. Uh, any new business? I would like to 
like to, if I may, I would like to commend Dennis McCarthy. He has um, taken it upon himself to revise the fee schedule that gets sent out for, for um, I guess, zoning fees, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, and so he's taken it upon himself to revise that. And um, I sent him a list of what we've collected so far year to date from various fees because I just have a sneaking suspicion that something's fallen through. Last year we collected over $6,000 in fees. Now granted there were a couple of large projects with uh, apartments and things like that, but this year it's about $800. So I'm, I was just concerned that well, the fees, the fees that we received, I don't, I'm trying to think what the college, they, they had some, some of that, yeah, not all those projects are. There, there were a couple thousand, but even without that, there was probably over $3,000 yeah. in other fees, and this year it's not quite a thousand yet. And I haven't seen a check in two and a half months yet. Okay, well, we need to do some following so, up on some of the yeah. projects that we, that we yeah, uh, so green-lighted garage projects and stuff. And that, if, if you, if any of you are interested in getting that list of where we are year to date, I'd be happy to send that because you might be able to help Dennis in case you know a project or something. I'd be happy to Dennis has been doing a great job yeah. as, as interim. Right across the street, right? That project? Yeah. The route? It, it, what is it? What's going on? I think it's just a else just got it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, again, internal stuff is it's yeah. about footprint and external, like the roof redo and stuff like that. We'll talk about that. Um, thank you, Mary, and and thank you, Dennis. Um, I believe Dennis has taken on the, uh, the job of being the zoning administrator for Old Bennington um, as well, and is willing to uh, continue here as interim. Um, as long as uh, it might be necessary. Uh, old business. We're going to get out of here for 8 o'clock. Uh, I think I had a couple issues for executive session. Okay. Uh, if there are no Further discussion uh, for the public meeting. I would entertain a motion to go into executive session for uh, contracts. Okay, and I have a personnel issue too. So. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I, well, I was thinking that it was a, a contract related person. Okay. Yeah. All right. All those in favor? I'll make the motion. I'll make the motion, please. I'll make the motion. We move into executive session for personnel Second. discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.